Hey everybody, welcome to another Native Thoughts. This time is a little different something else that I'm going to do, but by the way, uh, Native Thoughts is here. Uh, if you are listening to this on SoundCloud, you can also watch this on YouTube, and if you are watching this on YouTube, you can listen to the exact same one on audio before you press play, before you can go on SoundCloud and watch it, and listen to it, it doesn't matter. This time is a little bit different, I'm trying to rush this because uh, I don't have a lot of time. It's a little quick stuff I'm trying to do. Uh, it's a little update I do on Instagram. Uh, you can follow me at JuanCurrero1994 on Instagram if you want to follow me, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, I do on Instagram, I do a, a monthly uh, picture of all the movies I bought on Blu-ray uh, as a monthly collection, and I'm going to do it as a video format at the moment, and I'm also going to post a picture just in case, but um, just a little quick, uh, it's not a whole lot of movies, it's a little quick, uh, I have them back here behind me, and it's just something quick I'm going to do, and by the way, it's just a uh, quick reminder, go check out my other videos, but here are the movies, uh, I got Inherent Vice by P.T. Anderson, it's uh, not the best P.T. Anderson movie there is, but it is a okay, visually stunning one to see. I do think it lacks a lot of the story and the idea where it wants to be. I understand where it wants to be, but is it lacks it, you know? I don't know. It's not the best. Coming off from the Masters was a phenomenal. Coming back from There Will Be Blood, two of my favorites so far, the whole last generations with There Will Be Blood and the Masters and Boogie Nights, an amazing movie. Um, next one I have, uh, a Doomsday, it's a little, the whole thing that I was excited for the whole Mad Max, and I decided to get the Mad Max, which is Tindu coming up, and I want to see, I, I wanted to go see and check out the, the rip-offs movies that there was, and Doomsday was one that I remember seeing, uh, a couple of years ago, thinking it was entertaining, but it was really cheesy, uh, directed by Neil Marshall, who did, uh, The Descent, the, uh, which was a scary movie, uh, Doomsday was an okay movie, it, it's, it's okay, it's not the, best, but it does, it's a lot, it's a big rip off. Another one is Salma. Salma is a movie I really, um, I actually have not seen. <laughs> I have it, but I haven't had a chance to see it. I want to see it. I bought it because I did a good share about it. I could buy some movies sometimes as I haven't had time to see it. But I want to see it because I was a big fan of 12 Years a Slave. And I do like the whole black history of idea because of the whole struggle, man. I mean, even... I think there are, like, being an Hispanic, uh, I do feel like there are some stories from the Hispanic community that hasn't been told. But I feel like, as a point of view for uh, African Americans who struggle the most, I do think uh, some stories come out great, yeah. As um, Twelve Years a Slave, and I really want to see them because I really like the whole story of Martin Luther King. Another one is The Man from Nowhere, which I love this movie to death. It's think of Man on Fire, uh, age a Korean style. I believe yeah, it's Korean style. It's an amazing film. It's choreographed well. The fight scenes are amazing. It's it's a simple plot of a pawn sh- uh, shop, a uh, friend pawn shop owner inside of apartment. Chinese people do crazy shit. Uh, they, uh, he befriends of a little girl who trades his things for like other things every month. And he just has the mom is like a drug addict, a uh, prostitute, and he befriends her and she gets kidnapped to be sold on, on the market to do some things bad that they do of this mobster. And he little does he know that they fuck with the wrong guy. He's an ex CIA agent, uh, like an ex the uh, agent of Japan. It's a great movie. Go check it out. I believe it's on Netflix also. Another one I wanted to get is, uh, Viva Sa- uh, Sabata uh, with Marlon Brando. It's a black and white movie, a uh, Hollywood version of a Mexican revolutionary. As much as I say, uh, Mexican uh, Hispanic heritage uh, could be done right. I believe this one's done right. It's a beautiful movie. Even on Blu ray, it looks beautiful. I mean, I don't care about the transfer where people say. I think it's a beautiful movie. But Marlon Brando is a, is a great actor. Uh, I really recommend this one. It was really cheap. Uh, another one is one that I understand why people li- don't like it, and I understand when people buy it and they want to sell it real quick, but I just had to get this. It looks so beautiful, the steel book. It was uh, the Gambler's steel book uh, from Target. It's, it's a little, it looks like a plain deck card. The movie, as for the movie, I think Mark, they're okay. He's not his best movie, but as for the whole Gambler, I think they should change that movie because it should be a loser because he's, he's just, he's a fucking loser throughout the movie. I don't even think he's a gambler. He sucks, you know? He's a, he's a terrible fucking card player, but that's what he is, and I don't know. I think they should really think about that. And for this one is um let me just uh, do this real quick. Uh it's a whole Mad Max trilogy. I got the uh Mad Max original from Screen Factory, Shop Factory, um the whole uh inside out. Uh inside is a different cover, the original cover and for the Mad and Max, I mean Fury World was an amazing was an entertaining movie. I think it's the most entertaining movie I've seen this whole year for twenty fifteen. As for the Mad Max collection, I think it's a must. You must have it. Most likely as soon as Fury World comes out, they're gonna be a new set 
special edition. I do wish these had the ultraviolet because I would really love to watch this on a day to day basis. But I got the Mad Max and I got the Road Warrior, which is a big step up different. I think all the Mad Max movies are a big difference from its uh, sur- surpass uh, stories. And I also got Mad Max Beyond Thunder Throne uh, with Tina Turner, which is the most cheesiest and the most fantasy out of all of them. But I think these two live up, even Fury Road live up to the hype to make this one entertaining at least another one I got was uh, I had to get really just because I thought it was a great deal and it was a uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2 it, I think you can get, still get this at Best Buy for $10, $10 and I like that it has the ultraviolet so I could watch the first one's phenomenal it's funny as, as hell um uh, Bill Murray, uh, the whole fuck you line is phenomenal. I love that line. And the second one, for the second one, I thought it was an okay movie, but it's still, you have, I mean, you, you could get it. It's a little DJ book, and it has a book. I think a lot of people have owned this. I think it was a great one to own. No one I got is a Nerf comedy that I enjoyed, but it's not the best comedy, and it's Tower Heights with Ben Zero and Eddie Murphy. It was a little underrated movie that came out. It's not that underrated because a lot of people, I hear a lot of people liking it, but it's not the funniest movie ever, but it has some entertaining value and enjoyable to it. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of horror movies, but uh, I got Devil from M. Night Shyamalan. Um, I think this is, I mean, for him being at least writing credit, uh, credits and producer is entertaining. People do laugh at the main title, spoil the whole movie, but it's it has a little, it's a bottle film that has entertaining value, and I think it's it's a little, it's a little right to watch. No one I got is, uh, I'm a big Keanu Reeves fan, um, since Point Break, since Speed, I, I grew up watching almost all his movies since The Matrix, um, and I got to watch it, which I always admire, because it's a way of seeing, uh, he's always been this actor who's always been the worst actor in, the, in, the, in ever, but he works where he has, and, uh, the watch was him being as a villain, as a bad guy, as a, as a, as a murderer, uh, with, uh, James Spader, younger James Spader, hunting him down, and they both exchanged, and I think it was an okay movie, it's more of the horn bane of that 90s, wannabe grunge take, wannabe, uh, a uh, Rob Zombie take and whatnot. As uh, another movie I got was a uh, Pennington, which I didn't see uh, at the movie theaters, but I hear a lot. I heard a lot of great things, and I saw it. It's a very phenomenal film. Not phenomenal, but it's really entertaining, and it's a great movie for kids and for adults. It has some cheesy moments, but I at least I thought it lived up to this whole little hype. Very British though. Uh, another one I heard a lot, I have still haven't had a chance to see it, but Predestination. I heard a lot. I'm a huge Ethan Hart fan. Go check out my review for Good Kill, which I actually like. And not my favorite movie of the year, but it's my most, the one I like, I enjoy a lot. Uh, great actor in this movie. Uh, what more can you say about Ethan Hart? I think he still lives up. Go check out Boyhood. Go check out Training Day. Phenomenal movie. But I still have not checked this one out. I hear a lot of great things. I even know the twist already, but I still won't. It doesn't matter if I know the twist, as long as you see it from the point of your view. One of them that I honestly, from the whole collection that I personally admired, was I got, I think I admired the most because I got it for cheap, for the fact that it's damaged, but it's the, I'm a big Arnold fan, and it's Commando on Steelbook, uh, exclusive Best Buy. The reason why I got it was a bit dent right there. It looks like if a palace stepped on it or something, it's dent. And it was only, it's only, it's only seven eighty nine. Go get it if you love Commando, if you're Arnold. It's a great Steelbook. I think it's, it's a beautiful still book. If you like Arnold, it's amazing. The one thing about it that um, uh, was cool about it, I'm saying, is that I got it, it was seven and I got it for like four bucks because it's damaged, and I think it's great. Check out if anything damaged, but you know, you get things cheap. But this is the one I love the most because I always like Commando. I always love the classic uh, Arnold action movies. I still like his new movies, and you know, some are not that great. Like Skate Plan is cheesy, but Last Stand is phenomenally is the best cheesy movie of whole uh, 2013. But that's all I really have to do for uh, Blu-rays. But you can see I still have a lot more Blu-rays, but I won't be doing a whole lot of these. I'll be doing mostly of monthly ones I'll be doing. But like I said in the beginning, you could watch this video uh, on YouTube, or you can listen to the audio on SoundCloud. Hope you guys have a take. Take care. Uh, Have a good day, everybody. Go check out my reviews. Bye.